Alright, so I am in now, I guess. Alright, so I am going to be taking down a Devil Joe. It's very annoying, but I get the job done. So... Post a new quest. Optional. Going in solo, because I can do this solo. Mm, gonna go here, because usually it spawns around here. Because usually you can find the monsters like spawning area. Voucher? Yeah, I can use a voucher because I've killed this thing about a couple times now. I'm feeling pretty confident. Not because I'm live streaming, but because I've done this a couple hours ago. So from there, I'm going to change my charge blade because I have a couple different ones. But I like using my Halberion blade, which is made out of a dragon called the Rathalos. If it will load. Okay, it's not gonna load. But here it is. It's got the face of the Rathalos on the shield. It's kind of like a sword and shield, and it morphs into an axe. Um, so I have a defensive charm that boosts up my um, defense. They're kind, they're all kind of charms on here. And the dragonproof mantle helps me. Um, prevent the Devil Joe from hitting me so hard with this armor because it's not the best but it gets the job done like I said and then a health booster which basically gives me health when I'm in dire need but my palico is there for it and you will see my palico in a minute and then this is my armor Xenojiva all Xenojiva because it looks cool but not only that, it's a pretty easy armor to make, but it's like the final boss of the story mode. But... Oh wait, no, not yet. And then let me get my items going. So here I have my potions, which is basically health. And then at the max potion heals you all the way up. And antidotes for poison. Null berries are for like um, status effects like lightning blight, dragon blight, um, bleeding. No, wait, no, no, not bleeding. That's a stero jerky. Um, just the blights in general. And the null berries take it off. Oh, miasma. Miasma is a horrible. Energy drink helps you like stay awake when uh, sleeping. Some. Some monsters give off sleeping gas, so you use an energy drink so you stay awake. Well done steak is basically food, and it boosts up your stamina because sometimes you will get killed in a quest, and you can't eat at the canteen, and that gives you like little boost, and it gives you like a 50 health boost and a 50 stamina boost, which basically maxes out everything on your health and stamina. And if you die during the period of like the resting period for the canteen, then you really can't do much. So you use the well done steak to boost everything back up and the max potion. And then the cool drink is for like, um, like hot places like lava, magma and stuff like that. I could show you if you want me to, but it's up to you. Uh, Demon Jug, it's basically it boosts up my attack power, so I get like more damage DPS wise. Armor Skin, pretty basic, it boosts up my defense. And these two actually last the whole, the whole quest. And then Life Powder, that's for like healing the whole area. Like if I have a four man squad, I can heal everybody real quick. Honey, that's just to make stuff, well, stuff as in mega potions and catalyst and all that stuff. Catalyst is made with a bitter bug. 
Trank bombs are used to put monsters to sleep when they're in a shock trap, which I plan on doing with Je Devil Joe because you get more stuff on capturing monsters. Uh, dung pod, basically, we all know what dung is, poop pods. So, when you throw one of these out through your little slinger ammo, through your little slinger pod that you have, um, you put it in the monster's face and afterwards it's like basically throwing poop at them in their face. So they just dip. They're like, this is disgusting. I'm out. Like, forget you, fam. Uh, bomb, barrel bombs, small time bomb, basically. Armor talon, I guess you're just supposed to keep this in your, um, your item pouch and it boosts up your defense. And then let me get a shock trap that I need for good old Devil Joe, or as the fan base likes to call it, um, the pickle. And as you see over here, I had just caught one recently. This thing is ugly, honestly. And then somebody is trying to send me their guild card. And so with this, I can see people um, post quests and stuff like that, so I could always hop in with them. And then I'm going to accept you. And now that the intro is kind of done, pretty much just gonna go in and start the action. Let me shut up. Oh, thank you. I guess. Wait, why is there two people in here? Oh, wow. Alright. So, canteen-wise, uh, I'm going to eat. Oh, thank you. My quote-unquote faithful viewer. Let's see here, so I'm going to pay with money because I want to keep my points because I use those points to actually cultivate uh, plants, basically grow them, but I will show you that when I'm done with this. Hopefully I don't get my cheeks clapped, but let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Oh yeah, that's right, because I'm watching my broadcast on my phone to see the comments because I don't like a small minimized screen mm -hmm. all right so I don't think I filled up everything uh, let me just go in here real quick there we go everything is filled And let's go find ourselves a pickle. Yeet. And then these little green things that are following that I'm following right now is the scout flies, and they take me to the monster that I'm hunting. Oh gosh, can I make this? No, I'm not gonna make this jump. Mm, let's see. There's no. Oh, the wedge beetle. I never saw that there. And swing. Then, since I already have maxed uh, out mega potions, the honey usually usually auto crafts itself. But this time, I have the max mega potions. So, it's not going to make anything, it's going to stay in my inventory. And this bone pile right here is ancient bones. Well, not all of it, it's some of it, as you can see. And this, these bones I use for, like, materials, are materials that I use to make my weapons with, or armor-wise. So I'm just going to do a little digging. Alright, 
those bones are done for. You know what? I'm kind of lost. Show me Dewey. Okay. There we go. Wait, is it taking me back? No, it's not taking me back. Oh. There you are, pickle. Fight me. Oh crap, you know what? I didn't put my demon jug or my armor skin. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, all right, it's just, just a little hit. Tis but a scratch. And that's my palico that's giving me little health uh, pods called Vigor Wasp. I'm pretty much an aggressive fighter in this game, but this thing is a lot more aggressive than me. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna let you do you. Go go ahead, run away. Let me let me do me. Let me get prepared. Alright, so then afterwards What I did right now was empty out my vial because I do have like little power charges in this thing. And I will let you witness that because I don't want to ruin the surprise because I think it's like really freaking awesome. Alright, swinging through the vines. Oh, yeah, Rocco is my little palico. He comes through. Oh, okay. He's the one that gives me health. And I am slowly looking for my mantle as he is thrashing about the place and it's scaring me. Here you are, dragon proof mantle. Alright. Oh, that tail is so annoying. Thank you, Rocco. Oh no, this isn't good. It's a lot of camera adjustment. This is the scary part about it. And this thing's like an oversized dragon pickle. He's got a freaking massive roar. Alright, now he's heated. Alright, here's the axe. Boom. And then that's just... Oh, okay. That was supposed to be an elemental round slash, as they call it. And it stores up a bunch of power. And I have to get more vials to release all that. So... Okay, that was uh, Devil Joe's uh, violent dragon breath. There's this round slash. I didn't really mean to hit anything. I'm just saving up the power. Oh, yes. Knocked him down. Hopefully I can get some free hits in. Alright. Not time to save up everything. There. Hopefully this hits. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Just gotta save it for another time. This tail is intense. Oh, another monster's here. Toby Kadachi. This isn't good. Rest in peace. But you know what? This is a good distraction. And oh, okay. Never mind. I'm probably gonna have to run for that bigger wasp over there, which is basically hell. Okay, run. Rest in peace, Toby. Alright, power slash, here goes. Alright, that was a power slash. I think that's pretty cool. Well, that's what I call it. It's probably something else in the game. Oh my, okay, this thing is so annoying. 
I'm not doing so hot right now, to be honest. Alright, Toby's still in the mouth of Devil Joe. This guy's a bully. There you go, now. Oh, he's tired. Oh, he fell. Yes. Come on. Darn it, Toby. Oh, I hate you. Okay, that's not fair. Oh, this isn't good. I might die. Yep, I'm dead. There's GG's in the chat. Wait, no, he's distracted. Yes. Okay, never mind, I take that back. I didn't say the N word, I said vigor. V I G O R. I mean, although it does kind of sound like that. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Item pouch. Duh. Alright. So. Oh, wait. No. I don't want craft. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I can go through here. So I'm using my max potion. And as you see, everything goes up. And I have my well done steak over here. Everything went up. Yeah, well, no, he didn't tell with me. He basically just slammed his face into the ground to kill me. This guy's a bully. Sharpening my sword with the whetstone. Um, let's see. Let me do my demon drug. And then my armor skin. Yeah, this guy's just pretty much a bully. He's like near like Elder Dragon level, which is basically like pretty hard boss monsters in here. I mean, I've took some down, but I've never done it like solo solo for an Elder Dragon. I've always had someone help me with it. Uh, what was I gonna do? Okay, no, I just can go into battle. Dope. Yeah, he already sees me. See, look, he's just, he's just there. Bully. I was pressing triangle, but okay. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he does that a lot too. It's usually a tremor. I don't fall into that, but I fell into it this time. Alright, I'm going for the wasp. Because it heals me. Oh, 
come on. Really? This isn't going well. Yeah, see, he's already tired of me. Alright, here we go. Once I see him again, I'm gonna put my mantle on. Come here, pickle. Oh, that was scary. Okay, it's it's mad now. You can tell when it's mad when you can see like fumes coming out of its nose, or in Kid Double Joe's case, when he lights up red. And he's already an aggressive monster as it is, but now he's just really more aggressive. And as you saw before, he uses other monsters as like weapons, and it's kind of a bully thing to do. Rocco, no, my boy. They never die. They just um, they just pass out and wake up from like a nap, quote unquote. See, he's alive. We've been through so much, Rocco. Thank you. And I can't get a hit on him for some reason. Finally! Oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't this isn't going well, honestly. I need heals. I'm gonna go for the mega potion. Oh please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Okay, thank god. Okay, dragon proof mantle actually protects me from that kind of Rocco with the heels. I kind of needed you before, but that's fine. Okay, I ran into that. This this is not good. The dragon fight, I kind of don't know what it does to be honest. Oh, I see what it does now. It lowers my attack. I should usually be getting off about like maybe 15 DPS wise. Alright, so as you can see, he's tired, so this is where I'm gonna go in for my power slash. Hopefully, it goes through. Okay, most of it went through. And then as you can see, Rocco over here likes to make friends with the uh, little Jagresses, and I guess they're supposed to attack the monster with me. And now we're following the pickle once again. Oops. Yeah, I'm not letting you eat, man. You're a pain. Oh, no, 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 let me off, let me off, let me off. Okay, well, at least I hit you. Rocco with the heels. There you go. Yeah, Rocco can attack as well. He has like a little club. Okay, this isn't a good spot to fight at. Let me get out of here. Let me take him over here again. Because being trapped with him is pretty bad, honestly. I mean, look at the size of that tail. Like, that thing is gigantic. Oh, it's fire breath. Well, 
not fire, but dragon, and it's probably pretty disgusting. I mean, I can imagine. Because this thing eats, like, anything. I stopped dragon blight? Yes, you tipped over. Let me get one more power slash off before he goes up. There you go, look at all that DPS. You actually can chop off right now my s I can't seem to take him off. Oh. Yeah, you can this is a all multiplayer game. Like the max squads would be like four, four people per squad. But usually though when um when there's four people, your palico doesn't come with you. And my, my palico Rocco, he won't be there. He'll be back at base doing his own little intense training of like hyperbolic time chamber stuff. Oh, okay. I'm kind of happy that that didn't go off. Because I probably would have gotten hit. Alright. I'm just kind of just taking my time here now. Oh, okay. That was an aggressive hit that I dodged. But all his hits are aggressive. Rocco with the heals. Thank you, my boy. Oh, no. I don't want you to get trapped in that. I wanted Joe, but it's okay. I guess. We'll make do. Okay, this is where his bully instincts kick in. Alright, let me just do my surround slash real quick. Store up some energy. Yep, as you can see here, uh, Jagras is... Oh, I saved him! But you know what? He is not going to attack me because this guy is a huge bully that no one likes. See? And he's gone. And when you are fighting, you do get stuck in animations, or it'll just snap you out, as you can see there. Because I was going to morph into my axe, but my shield was up, so therefore, it saved me. And now he's tired, so I'm going to go for a power slash. And I missed. I was too close to his face. Yes. Free hits, free hits, gotta love him. Alright back up and then as you can see on the bottom left hand screen with the scout flies and the little devil joe symbol with the shield that's his heart rate and now he's tempered well not tempered but he's just mad See? Broke its face. Oh, that tremor. That stomp, or whatever you want to call it. No! Okay, I have one more try if I don't make this. But I have to make it next try though. If not, then the quest ends. Please run. Oh no, he's being a bully again. Let's see. Power strike, power strike, power strike. Chop his tail, please. No. I 
didn't even mean to do that. I do button smash out of panic in this game a lot, so as you can see my axe kind of came out when I didn't want it to. I mean they kind of do have blood in the game, but it's just rare that it comes out. Because I've seen it, but you have to be really, really close to see it. This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, never mind. I'm saved. Rocco with the heels, please. Okay. Thank God. Nope. That's not gonna happen. Just go for some damage. No, 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 no. Oh, I just healed. Okay. He's running. Again. So now I gotta go chase him. But you know what? I'm gonna heal up. Yeah, I can live stream tomorrow. It's no problem. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty interesting game, to be honest. I like it. It's kind of an addiction, though. Oh, I mounted the monster. So when you mount the monster, you, like, you can stab it in the face, and you can get it tired. And then you can get free hits and knock it over. Well, knock it over and then get some free hits. But it will try to thrash you off, so you just gotta follow the instructions. But I made it. Get wrecked. And afterwards, I'm just gonna use the light power charges. Probably might get one off. That's about it. Yeah. Alright, now it's limping, so I can follow it, follow it to its nest, and then from there, I can capture it. It's gonna take a while. And then, as you can see on the bottom left-hand mini-map, you can see the symbol, and it has a little skull, so it's almost dead. But I'm not gonna kill it, I'm gonna capture it, since I get more rewards off of it. Sorry for the invitations if ever you can see that. Just gonna slowly follow it. Should fall asleep by now, but I'm gonna wait it out for about a minute or two. Okay, so just following him out. Okay, so he's for sure asleep now. Because it's easier to shock trap him when they're asleep, so you don't have to lure him into, like, somewhere. So let me see here. My trank bombs are here. So shock trap real quick. And then... So it usually takes two trank bombs to take him down. One. Two. And there you go. Mission objective complete. Alright. So that was pretty much the Monster Hunter overview. Maybe you might consider getting it, might not. And then the rewards, it's usually like hides and all the materials from the monster that you can carve up. And then these advanced armor spheres help you upgrade your armor. And then just bones and ores that help you out with jewels and stuff like that. And then just a lot more material. And they give you the time of completing the quest, so it took me 27 minutes and 1 minute. No. 
27 minutes and one second. It usually takes me around that time. Killing it, it's about 30. Oh, thank you. Maybe I might do it. I don't know. Considering it? But, maybe. Yeah, I know I need better internet. But I'm not gonna take this like serious seriously, but I mean hobby wise, yeah, for sure. Alright, so that ends the broadcast for now.